welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is going to be a relatively short one, which is number 311. I don't have any birthdays to go over today. Yesterday was Robert Foley's birthday, as I said on the last podcast. So he turned 79 yesterday, but that's all I have for birthdays today. The only other thing I have for you all, y'all, whichever dialect you'd rather hear that in, is a big thank you to all of you for listening, subscribing, sharing, everything that you do to help keep me keep this podcasting going. Uh, support really helps, and uh, like I've said to others, I probably will still be doing this, even if it was a giant failure. Who knows? But hopefully we never find out. So keep keep up the good work of uh, sharing the word of this podcast and of all the recipients within that I have covered. So that's all for today, and uh, we'll move right along into episode number 311. Louis was born Luigi in Cornedo, Vincentino, a town in Vincenza, Italy, on the 27th of April, 1946. His family immigrated to the States, and he went to and graduated from Franklin High School in Seattle, Washington. After school, he briefly worked at Boeing and then enlisted in the U.S. Army on the 26th of October, 1965. Lewis went to basic training at Fort Carson in Colorado and was then deployed to the Republic of Vietnam in August of 1966. It was his actions on the 1st of December with Company B, 5th Battalion, 7th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Cavalry Division that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, PFC Albanese's platoon, while advancing through densely covered terrain to establish a blocking position, received intense automatic weapons fire from close range. As other members maneuvered to assault the enemy position, PFC Albanese was ordered to provide security for the left flank of the platoon. Suddenly, the left flank received fire from an enemy location in a well-concealed ditch. Realizing the imminent danger to his comrades from this fire, PFC Albanese fixed his bayonet and moved aggressively into the ditch. His actions silenced the sniper fire, enabling the platoon to resume movement toward the main enemy position. As the platoon continued to advance, the sound of heavy firing emanated from the left flank from a pitched battle that ensued in the ditch which PFC Albanese had entered. The ditch was actually a well-organized complex of enemy defenses designed to bring devastating flanking fire on the forces attacking the main position. PFC Albanese, disregarding the danger to himself, advanced 100 meters along the trench and killed six of the snipers, who were armed with automatic weapons. Having exhausted his ammunition, PFC Albanese was mortally wounded when he engaged and killed two more enemy soldiers in fierce hand-to-hand combat. His unparalleled actions saved the lives of many members of his platoon who otherwise would have fallen to the sniper fire from the ditch and enabled his platoon to successfully advance against an enemy force of overwhelming numerical superiority. PFC Albanese's extraordinary heroism and supreme dedication to his comrades were commensurate with the finest traditions of the military service and remain a tribute to himself, his unit, and the U.S. Army. The Medal of Honor was presented to Lewis's family on the 16th of February, 1968, by the Secretary of the Army, Stanley Rizor, in a ceremony at the Pentagon. Lewis Albanese is buried in the Evergreen Washelli Memorial Park in Seattle, Washington. Section K.O. Lot E. Grave 75. His name appears on panel 12E, row 131, on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.